What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna be checking out these Piranha side marker lights from Peterson. They're gonna be LED, we're gonna get in two different colors. We have the amber one here, and then the red one here. Now the reason why we have two different ones is they are side marker lights, so they're gonna go on the side of your rig. We got the amber one here towards the front. As we come back to the back, that's usually where we put our red one. So you can see we have the same one back here, just red, and that's just usually where they're located on the back of our rigs. You have both options. They're both gonna be LED, and it's gonna be a good replacement, especially if you have old incandescent ones that either burning out or broken. These are gonna burn way, or they're gonna shine way brighter than the other ones and last longer. Let's check it out. One thing I wanna point out is that this is gonna be a two-wire system, so it's a side marker light. If you need to replace your tail light, that's a different thing altogether. It's gonna have more than two wires just because you have your brake lights, your tail lights, and your blinkers in here. That's gonna have more wires. These are just side markers, so you really only have a power and a ground here. All right, now we're gonna pop off the cover. The lens is gonna be made out of an acrylic. This is the amber one, so that's gonna be the side marker here towards the front. We have our six diodes and six LEDs right here. They're gonna be far more efficient than our incandescent ones. They're not gonna burn out as quickly, and they're gonna be really bright. So if you already saw that, we had them on, and it's midday. You can see them just fine. They're gonna be even brighter when it's night. Something else to point out while the lens is off is the mounting holes are gonna be three inches apart. So that's just something you wanna keep in mind. Make sure that matches up with the holes you already have. If you're replacing an existing light, you don't wanna make any more holes in your rig than you have to. Now, as far as install goes, it's pretty simple. You got the two mounting holes. If you're replacing a light, you can just use your existing hardware because it doesn't come with its own hardware. And you just put it in the exact same spot. You just have to make some connection with the wires. I recommend getting some heat rig butt connectors. That's gonna make things easier and seal it up. But otherwise, just follow along and see how we did it. We've already removed our old light. That's the one we need to replace. It was busted, so that's why we got our new one. So we went ahead and snipped off those wires and disconnected it. I'm gonna come back and strip the wires back to get it ready to install our new one. So just use the wire strippers, real easy to do. Now I also have a piece of electrical tape on this one just to keep them separate on which ones there are. You see the wires are the same color, but if you trace it back, you can see this one goes to the white wires in there, which is gonna be the ground. If you're unsure, I would recommend getting a tester and test them out, but since I see that, I know it's okay to hook that one up. There we go. Now those are ready for our new light. So I'll grab that down here. We gotta do a little prep on this one too. You see our white wire has a ring terminal on that. We are not gonna need that. So go ahead and just cut that off. Now we have to strip back this one. You see this one's already ready to go. You can just pull that off. Now they're ready to make our connections. Now we're gonna add our heat shrink puck connectors here on this end first, just so I don't have to hold both while I'm trying to attach the light. So just go ahead and insert the wire. It's gonna be the ground side once again. So just get the wire in there. Then get our crimpers and go ahead and crush that down. There you go, it's on there nice and tight. We're gonna do the same thing on this one. Now we're gonna hook up our new light. It's gonna go power to power. Put that in there. We'll make that connection just like we did all the others. That's good. I'm gonna do the same thing for the ground. With a flat bladed screwdriver, you can just pop the cover off. It's really easy. Just put it in that little gap and twist it. Pops right off. Now we can kind of see what we're working with just a little bit better. Let me grab the screws down here and kind of show you. Now, the wires are not centered on the light, but there's plenty of room on the backside for those wires to rest. So you don't have to worry about this matching up with that. You can still line up the holes that were existing because we don't want to drill any more holes than we have to in our rig, but it'll fit right back in there and I can reuse the screws. So we'll just go ahead and get one of them started. We get the screwdriver in my pocket. Got those holes there. Getting it tightened down. With that one started, I'll do the same thing on the other side and then use the screwdriver.
tighten that one, and now I can tighten this one down. I'll finish tightening that one down. Not too tight, you don't want to break anything, but make sure it's on there nice and sturdy. Then we can replace the cover. Now we're gonna go ahead and test it, turn on our tail lights. Looks like we got them working, so it's gonna be just fine. So you saw how easy that was to install. It's working just fine, whether you're replacing a broken one or you just wanna get rid of those incandescent ones. I think the LED light is gonna be the way to go. You're not gonna to have to replace it as often as you would if you stay with those incandescents. They're not gonna be as hot and it's gonna burn, or it's gonna be a little brighter than the regular ones too. So all in all, I think it's a win. Well, thanks for hanging out and I hope this helped.